This video is sponsored by Benjamin Moore. I can't wait to show you guys the interior transformation later in today's video. Would you like me to move that a little bit more for you, please? <laughs> I can help you. So what we're doing today is getting the master bedroom slash laundry room finished up. So we've got our first piece cut for the built-in that goes around the washer and dryer. That's gonna slide in and we gotta pretty much cut perfectly around the beam coming down. So it's gonna be us putting it up there, getting a few measurements, marking and recutting it to make sure everything fits. And then we gotta make an access panel for the dryer vent. So I put my screwdriver back there because it is hard piped in to disconnect the vent just in case we do need to slide everything out here in the future. So we are trying to make the best of the small space yes. and make all of it useful and not go to waste. This corner that's right here has been a little bit tricky to make usable and not lose because if the washer and dryer were side by side and scooted all the way down this way, they would actually stick out further mm -hmm. than the window. I guess the window is technically a little bit too big for this room. Maybe. But it was a free window and it's a really beautiful window. <laughs> so we're going to work around it. It's the funny thing is the countertop might be big too, too big for that space. We'll see. Well, I don't think so. I think we, we've, I think we've come up with a solution for that, but it's gonna be tight. only time will tell. It's going to be, we're slamming and pushing <laughs> it in. <laughs> we're going to muscle no it in. No need for caulking that one. No, definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> but the good news is that once we do muscle in that countertop, um, you know, we're going to be able to use that as folding space. And then underneath is going to be built in cabinetry for storage. And that cabinetry is going to continue underneath the window for more storage. So yes. we're Not making, storage. A lot of storage, yeah. which we need because it's a smaller home, you know, and got a lot of things going on in here. So we're trying to make the best of the space. Yes, let's get it in. You look at my gray hair. It's not bad. You know, you're a silver fox. <laughs> Good few years. I like not dyeing my hair. I get it. Who's gonna grow gray first, you or me? I think you got that one in the bag, girl. <laughs> you know what I mean? That? Killing it with the perfect cuts, huh? It works. So we'll do a little access hole here, a little yes. panel here, and we'll figure it out. Not a big deal. So I guess now let's go ahead and put the roof on the thing. Okay. Or the top. The roof. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> How's that on your side? Should sure we get that measurement right? That's 27 inches inside the inside. Look. 27, I'm a hair short. <laughs> I mean like eighth inch short. Looks great. 
I think it looks good too. It looks a lot better than Diddy. Yes. Definitely. The, I, I knew though that we needed to wait a minute before he took a total like judgment of it um, because that trim that goes around mm -hmm. it, it makes it look finished. Yes. And it, it pulls everything together and now it, it looks legit. It brings the inner beauty out. <laughs> <laughs> Almost as beautiful as this, this beautiful beast right here. Hey, Chuck. You can't say, look at the camera, Chucky. Oh, yes. <laughs> you can't That's say. That's basically a mother could love. He's the most beautiful <laughs> boy ever. You don't think he's beautiful? All right, so you're going to tell him about the uh, big change we have going on here or what? We're going to change the white paint spot on Chuck to a new paint spot because we're painting. Yes, we are. The room's going to get completely transformed. <laughs> I love, the, I love the hand movement there, Josh. <laughs> we are going to be repainting the entire room, like yes. all of it. It'll be a big change. But the thing about it is that I'm completely confident that I got the color correct this time because I was actually able to try on the color ahead of time using Benjamin Moore's mm -hmm. app. Yep. So this time I'm going to nail it and there will be no more repainting. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Benjamin Moore has over 3,500 unmatchable colors, more than any other paint company. So this time we were able to get a rich color that we love, and the color we are going with is, drum roll please, Brrr. Benjamin Moore's Steel Wool from the Regal Select line. It's in the eggshell sheen, and yes. I think it's going to look great. So do I. Should I edge it in first, or should I roll it last? I mean, that's not, the issue is this. I can get you to buy the right paint, I can't get you to buy the right pan. Look at this. You want me to hold this? It's gonna crumble and spill everywhere. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm nervous. I'm nervous too. <laughs> I love it. I like it. See, I could, I could eat darker bedroom better than a lighter bedroom. Like, there's no comparison to me. Like, it's gonna give a nice, good, soothing feel. And I mean, between the lights down and then go to bed. <laughs> oh! <gasps> I almost dropped it. <laughs> My hand came down and hit that and almost knocked it out of my hands. The problem is, it's being so flimsy, man. Do you serve drinks or just paint? <laughs> <laughs> you should probably put it on the floor. No, I, don't, I prefer to not have to bend over, thank you. <laughs> Benjamin Moore's e-storefront makes getting paint samples easy. They send all of your paint samples directly to your home and then once you have officially chosen your paint color, you can go online, purchase your gallon, and then head to the local store for pickup. Okay, wait to get the room done. See, I don't, I don't have that technique, you know? I think I'm a little too jittery, a little too high strung for all Damn, that. You're gonna make me laugh and mess it up. <laughs> <laughs> Look good though. So while Aaron finishes up the paint, I gotta close up this junction box right there. It has a driver that controls the lights in the bathroom. It goes around the shower. I built an access panel. I gotta finish the trim around here. And then once that's done, I'm gonna paint it and get it installed. Would you like me to move that a little bit more for you, please? <laughs> I can help you. You busy? No, I'm just watching yeah, you paint. Please. I'm not sure how you get back there. The painting is finished. I love it. I'm really happy with it. Yes, me too. I'm happy with the color and I'm actually also really happy with how smoothly it went on. Yeah. And I didn't even use an entire can of paint. I know, which is crazy. So less coats for me, Yep. less paint buying for you. Yes. <laughs> and it doesn't take me as long to paint. Nope. So, but you definitely nailed it with the color. The color is great. I think so too. All right, um, I think it's missing something. Okay, stay here. I have an idea. 
No, wait, you can't wait, wait, do... wait, are you thinking the same thing I'm thinking? I don't know, stop. Wait, I'm gonna get no, first, let me get first. No, I'm gonna no. get first. <laughs> See, my idea is that we should get a portrait of Chuck painted and put it up there in that spot. Here it comes. I have no idea what you're thinking. <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> I knew it! We can put it right above your desk, Karen. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> <laughs> Chuck. Do you like the picture? <laughs> it was my idea, just saying now. So yeah. I get the brownie points on that. The room has made a huge transformation already. Between building cabinetry around the washer and dryer to building a desk and repainting the room. The next step is adding another countertop near the window and building storage both underneath the counter and under the window. So in order to make this countertop fit, we um put the kitchen off. <laughs> only this one spot. It shouldn't be that big of a deal, right? Yeah, so it's an, it's an exact fit. It's uh exactly to the T. Um, so 38 inches exact across, and the countertop is 38 inches exact. So pushing that in is gonna be an utter pain. The trim's in the way. It's not going well at all. It's supposed to wham damn thank you, ma'am. Not that way. <laughs> you know what I mean? Alright, well let's wing it. If it if it messes it up, we'll fix it. No big deal. I get it'll, it. it'll be okay. Right, let's go. I got this side. Okay. You scoot your side back. Right. Wasn't that bad at all. Yeah. Was we didn't good. scratch anything. No. So it was wham damn thank you ma'am. I hate it. What? Do you like it? Why do you hate it? It's the way it is. We gotta, do, we gotta, we gotta fix it. We need the, the, this needs to be back. I know. We need to caulk it. We need to put the trim on there. It's gonna be great. This is gonna make your life folding laundry so much easier. <laughs> it's a joke. It's a joke. <laughs> what? Let's trim it out. Okay. <laughs> I gotta say, this room is really coming together in here. I'm so happy seeing this put into place. But one of the things I'm most excited about is the built-in storage that we're going to have yes. underneath there and then also underneath this window. Yeah. We've got a little bit of figuring out to do exactly. Yeah, it's a drop back and punt moment. Yes. <laughs> right? Can I put it? <laughs> yes. So while he's figuring out exactly how we're going to do that, I am going to clean this window because it's absolutely driving me nuts. And I'm going to show you guys something. Josh said not to show you. What? But I'm showing them. What? The print that's on the window. It's probably a bear print. <laughs> I think it is. It's not a big deal. Do you know what it probably is? What? I know what it is. No, it's not. What? It was there before he was here. No. The gas guy? Yes. Are you sure? Yes, I'm positive because it was the earlier that morning we looked. We've been trying to figure out. How that got here, because how high is that outside? The kids it's, can't touch it. Exactly. The boys can't, but that, I mean, the, the print's a lot bigger than their hand. Right. 
So it's this weird print that's there. <laughs> I don't know what it is. You this bear here. It's not a big deal. Right. The black bear. Bo, is he peeking in our windows? <laughs> but we don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. It's nothing that we're not used to, but They're this black one... bear. They're scared of you anyways. They run off. Yes, but you know, believe it or not, we've actually not seen a bear on this property Have not. at all. And it's so much more secluded than our other property. Yeah. So it's kind of surprising that we haven't. We've seen them down the road, though. Yes, right, right down but not, not here. Not, not much less person, no. peeking in my bedroom window, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> I, we think it might be. Or, or the gas guy. Who knows? Or Sasquatch. <laughs> <laughs> it's officially spring. Everything around us seems to be waking back up. The lambs are playing in the pasture that is finally turning green again. Buds are on the trees, the birds are chirping, and the days are longer. It won't be long now until the warm summer nights full of s'mores around the fire pit and catching fireflies are upon us. There's nothing better than summertime with kids in the mountains of West Virginia. Go long! Oh! <laughs> Rain champ, you know? <laughs> it was me and Ellie versus you three. So. It doesn't count when you're shoving women and children out of the way, Josh. <laughs> yeah. George Costanza. The goal's a goal. <laughs> <laughs>